may know something that you would aid you, yet arranging on may be quite difficult. I must learn more about the Nethicide. I cannot turn back now. Please, tell me, your great chief, that I am of the royal line of Dalmasco, direct descendant of Dynas King Wraithwall. If the Gareth have passed down knowledge of the stones, they must know of the Nethicide that the Dynas King once held. Do you have proof of your heritage? I, I do not. Hmm. I have looked into your eyes and seen that you speak the truth, human child. I give you my trust. The great chief is ahead across this bridge. The great chief is ahead. Will you meet with him? Meet with the great chief. All right. This Nethysite, you have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraith will flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. I cannot wield it. So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the dynast king himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst, a terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> hmm. Larsa? Larsa. And not bad for an old PS2 game, huh? To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasais. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the kingdom of Damascus. 
As queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Almaska and stop Marquis Ondor. For peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear. And you would have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethicide were used on Rabinasta? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw him, didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How could he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different for Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then, I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just, I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find him. I like Vaughn. People say he's not a good character and doesn't belong in the story, but I like him. I will accompany you to Mount Baromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I'm glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Bur Omises. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. That Larsa likes his secrets. <sighs> he does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. Holy Mount Buromi Seis stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yagd, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yacht Yensa, right up to Rathal's tomb. Skystone that works even in Yacht. You know, Nether Sight's behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nether Sight, eh? 
Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? <laughs> Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you, and you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man will do the same. Oh man, I love that character. <sighs> so you will leave? This, take this as a token of our parting. A killer bow and a quiver of onion arrows. If you would ride a chocobo, you may. I have spoken with the Moogle. She will not charge you for your first use of the chocobos. Take care on the road ahead. Should it lead back to our land, you are welcome guests. Spirits of the land watch over you. So do I take a chocobo? between Dalmasca and the Empire. Reason tells me tis the only course. We must avoid a wasting war with the Empire at all cost. Yeah, me too. Yet I fear I could not bear the shame. Had I but the strength. A shame perhaps for me and for you. But for Dalmasca, it is hope. And you can just accept this, can you? After Vane's ruse, I had abandoned hope for honor. Yet... Never did I forget my nightly vows. If I could protect but one person from war's horror, then I would bear any shame. I would bear it proudly. I could not defend my home. What is shame to me? My people hate the Empire. They will not accept this. There is hope. Right. Don't encourage Hope for a future where we can join hands bad, as brothers. <laughs> Larson, please. This is serious. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be Larsa. Somebody's got to put him in his place. <laughs> I like Larsa. He's a good character. Ha <laughs> ha! Is he now? 
The Seraph may play at intrigue, but Lord Vane is not one to be brought down easily. The entire military waits upon his orders, from the War Council down to the rank and file. What better blade than he to strike down the enemies of the Empire? Your Honor reminds me of 